About 50% of Iran's ballistic missiles failed to take off or did not reach their targets in Israel in the April 13 attack, Fox News reports citing an unnamed American official. According to the Wall Street Journal, Iran fired 115 to 130 ballistic missiles at Israel. U.S. officials indicated that only half of the missiles fired were intercepted, with the rest missing their target. It is noted that roughly 50% of the ballistic missiles fired by Iran failed to launch or crashed before reaching their target, three U.S. officials said. So much for the vaunted ballistic missile capability of Iran, said a U.S. official. Recall, on the evening of April 13, Iran launched drones and missiles towards Israel, calling it a response to numerous crimes, including an air attack on the consular section of the Islamic Republic's embassy in Damascus. In light of the attack, the Israeli War Cabinet conducted deliberation for over three hours but did not reach a unanimous decision over how the country would respond to the Iranian attack. An official source from the Israeli Prime Minister's office said that while the cabinet is certain that there will be a response, they are waiting for the Israeli Defense Force to present options. The source told that the cabinet unanimously favors a retaliation against Iran but continues to remain divided over the timing and scale of any such response. Russia's strategist and troll army wages info war against U.S. support for Ukraine. The Washington Post reviewed a trove of internal Kremlin documents obtained by a European intelligence service and found proof that a Russian propaganda operation is aimed at weakening American support for Ukraine and discrediting Ukraine in the public eye. The operation poses a grave threat as U.S. support is now crucial for Ukraine's ability to defend itself against Russian aggression. However, Congress has stalled the aid package with over $60 billion for Ukraine for over six months. Without this aid, Ukraine has no choice but to retreat, as per Ukrainian President Zelensky. The Russian propaganda campaign seeks to fuel anti-Ukrainian sentiment by encouraging American isolationism, heightening concerns over U.S. border security, and exacerbating economic and racial tensions. The campaign, which intensified in January 2023, involves the creation of thousands of fake news articles, social media posts, and comments by Kremlin-linked strategists and troll farms, according to the Washington Post. The metadata from many of the leaked documents points to their creation by a team working under Ilya Gambashidze, the head of a Moscow-based PR firm called the Social Design Agency. Last month, the US sanctioned Gambashidze for his role in a sustained and malicious foreign influence campaign orchestrated by the Kremlin. This campaign, which Western officials have dubbed Doppelganger, involved setting up websites masquerading as legitimate European media outlets. More than 100 leaked documents spanning from May 2022 to August 2023 provide insight into the scale and tactics of Moscow's efforts to weaken support for Ukraine not only in the US but also in France and Germany. One tactic involved creating a fictitious American character who opposes military aid for Ukraine. The character argues that the government should instead allocate the funds to secure America's borders and claims that he sees that Biden's policies are leading the US towards collapse, the Washington Post reports. The Kremlin's strategists recommended numerous ideas for articles and social media posts, including one comparing homelessness levels in the US and Russia, suggesting that the United States increasingly resembles a third world country. Kremlin-linked strategists send out written proposals for social media posts comments and YouTube videos that would inflame racial and social tensions in the US and highlight themes of widespread poverty, high inflation, economic stagnation and the potential loss of jobs for white Americans while suggesting that colored and degenerate people and invalids receive special treatment. The Defense Intelligence of Ukraine has reported that Russia is sending personnel of the Russian Pacific Fleet and the 11th Air Force and Air Defense Army to the war in Ukraine to replenish sanitary and irrecoverable losses. According to the decision of Viktor Lina, the commander of the Russian Pacific Fleet, rotations to Syria have been completely stopped, and all personnel are being sent to the combat zone on the territory of Ukraine. We are talking about 2,000 Russian servicemen from the Primorsky and Kamchatka cries of the Russian Federation, intelligence reports that about 400 more soldiers from the military units of the 11th Air Force and Air Defense Army, 
stationed in Russia's Khabarovsk Krai, will patch up the holes of the Russian 155th and 40th Marine Brigades, which are understaffed due to huge losses. Part of the personnel from the military formations of Russia's Far East will join the new motorized infantry brigade, which is being formed in Voronezh. Ukraine reported that these Russian military formations have not been directly involved in hostilities against Ukraine before. According to the decision of the commander of the Pacific Fleet of the Russian Federation, Viktor Lina, rotations to Syria have been completely suspended, and all personnel are being sent to the combat zone in Ukraine. This includes 2,000 Russian military personnel from the Primorsky and Kamchatka regions of the Russian Federation, the main intelligence directorate reports the agency also pointed out that about 400 soldiers from units of the 11th Army of the Air Force and Air Defense, stationed in the Khabarovsk territory of the Russian Federation, will patch holes in the 155th and 40th brigades of the Russian Marine Corps, which are engaged in combat operations against Ukraine and are understaffed due to serious losses. A portion of the personnel from the military units in the Russian Far East will join a new motorized rifle brigade of the aggressor state, which is being formed in Voronezh, the main intelligence directorate stated Russian forces suffer significant losses daily in the war against Ukraine. The Russian army loses dozens, if not hundreds, of units of military equipment daily. The count of combat losses of personnel of the aggressor country also reaches into the hundreds.